What is the greatest national security threat to the United States? It's certainly the chaos in the Middle East, there's no doubt about it. Okay. And it all started with the Iraq invasion. Governor O'Malley? I believe that nuclear Iran remains the biggest threat. From the spread of nuclear weapons, nuclear material that can fall into the wrong hands. The global crisis of climate change. Our greatest day-to-day -day threat is cyber warfare against this country. Democrats debate threats against our nation this past Tuesday, finishing with Webb talking web security. Comments by former Virginia Senator Jim Webb talking about the lack of cybersecurity, the perfect lead into our next guest. Adam Levin is the chairman and founder of Identity Theft 911, author of the forthcoming book, Swiped, How to Protect Yourself in a World Full of Scammers, Fishers, and Identity Thieves. And Adam, thanks for joining us on The Hardline. Good evening, Rick, and thanks for the invitation. My pleasure. Jim Webb, the only candidate on that stage to say cybersecurity is the biggest threat to American security. I know you agree with him. What are the other candidates not getting? What are they missing? Well, I think what they're missing is that the Cold War has been replaced by the Cyber War and that we're in the fight for our lives on this. And even though we, not, we don't hear every specific move that the U.S. government is making, if you look at the breaches that are occurring all over the United States, frankly, all over the world, and in particular happening to government agency after government agency, culminating with the breach of the Office of Personal Management, where they got 19 million uh, files with the most sensitive information possible, which was information based on background checks for security clearances, as well as 5 million sets of fingerprints, and add that to 20 million social security numbers there and over 100 million social security numbers just in the past year that have been announced with breaches and the fact that the federal government had to do a cyber sprint now where it should be a cyber marathon but a cyber sprint and many inspector generals have already said that a lot of federal agencies are still woefully protected when it comes to cyber security so with that information, with that data, what is the scenario that keeps you up at night? What would be uh, the, the major problem associated with the hackers getting into our systems? What's, what would be the huge problem? Well, the people have identified it as cybergeddon. And that's where you could bring down the power grid, which brings pretty much every other grid down with it. Uh, or if they wanted to start, they could start with the financial services grid. Imagine wiping bank accounts for tens of millions of people just clean, wiping the slate clean, disrupting Wall Street, uh, creating economic chaos, having the equivalent of a denial of service attack not on our economy or on, let's say, the economy of a smaller nation they could wipe out. So these are the kinds of things when you talk to folks at the Federal Reserve and you talk to folks uh, in the, the military and in security, they tell you this keeps them up at night. So you've painted this picture, you've given us this major problem. What can be done about it? Well, we have to take a much more mature and much more serious look at the cybersecurity needs in this country. And our problem with companies and with the government is you have legacy systems, you have bureaucracy, you have the lack of willingness to dedicate the appropriate resources, you have failure to share threat assessment information. It's getting a little better on sharing, but we're not really there yet. You have a Congress that can't agree on what privacy is, that is having trouble reaching a consensus on how to best achieve cybersecurity goals. We have no cybersecurity legislation. We don't even have a national breach notification law. So uh, there are a lot of issues here and the fact that we got to draw much more attention to this and that we are in the midst of a presidential campaign and that Jim Webb is literally the only guy talking about cybersecurity and any other reference to anything related to cyber is because people are talking about Hillary Clinton's email and her server. Look, the one thing I'm concerned about is unless we get cybersecurity down, we are going to say that no server is the right server and it doesn't even matter anymore. Yeah, Bernie Sanders made out of the best line of the debates, enough about the emails. But we're going to be talking about cybersecurity all the way up until the next election. Thank you very much. Adam Levin joining us from New York. We're coming right back on